Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my controller collection series, and today we're going to be covering PlayStation, PlayStation, and oh, uh, PlayStation. All right, so last controller collection video of this year, and we're going to be going over some of my Sony controllers. Now, I've got a red regular and a white regular. Um, I just I saw them. They looked beautiful, and I had to pick them up. Uh, you know, th these are all membrane. Um, these start and select are rubber, and that's that's kind of a theme throughout Sony on all of their uh, controllers. Most of these are all membrane. Um, the uh, things get a little weird when you hit PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, but for the most part, these stay the same. So I'm going to get these two out of the way. Set them down to the side. Now, <clears throat> I have another theme. I've got one that's a translucent green as well, but I, I really like this translucent blue that Sony puts out every once in a while. Um, so much that you'll see a couple of PlayStation 2 controllers that like this. Now this is the DualShock. Um, it is not the DualShock 2 because it does not have DualShock 2 right there. Also because this is a PlayStation 1 plug instead of a PlayStation 2 plug, and it has Sony right there, so it's definitely official. Um, I loved the DualShocks, and in fact, I fell in love with them so much that I got rid, originally got rid of all of my older uh, ones that, that were not DualShock, like the, you know, the red and the white one right here. I got rid of all of these originally, but now I went back and got some because... Uh, I realized that I kind of like the simplicity of this as well. Um, but, you know, there, there's several color variations and stuff. Solid colors, translucent colors. Um, here's just your basic classic. Now there's another one that is not a dual shock. It is a, called a dual analog. And instead of being domes, the these are actually um, dented in. Or instead of being uh, convex, they are concave. Um, I don't have one of those. I never really was interested in picking one up. They didn't run very long, and I've heard that some of them have had problems. So all of that, I just kind of moved on. Now let me get a few of the other dual shocks out after I find a place to put these. Um, off to the side. Now, here is a third-party one that I've got, and I specifically picked this one up because it has a turbo function. Um, you know, sometimes you just need a turbo function. This one's okay. Um, it's got a weird thing that feels a lot like a Sega Saturn or a Genesis pad right here. Um, it's, you know, it's still pretty good though. Um, good cable length. Here's another translucent, the translucent clear, um, also known as like skeleton or prison tech or whatever. Um, this is another really nice one that I really like a lot. And then <clears throat> one that is a little bit on the odd side is this one right here. Now, I know this looks like just a normal white one, except for the fact that the plug on the end is a little bit different. Let me grab my other plug up here. So it's a little bit shorter. It's a different it's a different shape, all this other stuff, right? So, that's because this is for the PlayStation 1, where it's the miniaturized version of the PlayStation that where you could buy the additional LCD screen and stuff like that. I actually have two of these. Uh, one of them is actually in the carrying bag for the system itself and the system uh, with the LCD screen. Um, but, you know, these are, these are really good controllers. Um, you know, I, I really do love the DualShock series, and, and that's for pretty much all of them. Get all of these out of the way. Uh, so, next up is something that hopefully we'll get into frame. Maybe not all of it. Yeah. So, this is the Dance Dance Revolution PlayStation 
game and controller. Uh, I'm not going to get it out of the box. Like I said, I did try to get into um, uh, Dance Dance Revolution a long time ago, and I just was not any good at it. Now, the interesting thing is, is right here you can see, oops, let me get this camera to stop shaking, uh, official licensed product. And this is actually a hologram. So you can see it kind of change a little bit in the light. Uh, you know, this was an officially licensed product and it's, you know, in a little slip cover and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's basically the same material as the, uh, uh, the Nintendo power pad. We get that to the side and next we're going to get another huge controller in the absolute way. Um, Oh my gosh, this thing's so big. So, this is the PlayStation Dual Analog. Um, oops, got to see some of my cleaning materials for controllers and stuff. Um, this thing is a monster. Um, it's got a normal cord, all this other stuff, and it's got a thing right here for analog or digital and that's a little dirty too wow yeah i'll have to dust that out um now it's got all of these here and it's got these two analog sticks um there's a couple of games that i really wish that this was uh compatible with like cyber sled and um there's a, a capcom collections game where there's a tank where you use like you know two controls like this and stuff now some of the issues with this thing is these these boot holders like to work their way up like i just squeezed it and it's coming all the way up um you know these things did not age very well now i love this thing to death and stuff but um i just kind of wish that uh it had become or that it was a little bit more durable but other than that this is a interesting controller i'm not so sure i could 100 percent uh, suggest you go out and collect one but you know i'm a little bit of a controller collector kind of person so you know that's why i've got it uh, let's see what is next ha huh. next is something that's going to show up in two pieces first piece is going to be this guy Oops, um, it looks like your standard PlayStation uh, control. So, come on camera, stop doing that. Uh, it looks decent. Like it just has, uh, you know, all this, the normal control and it's fairly decent length. The only thing different is this connector right here. That's because it connects to this, and this is a PlayStation controller. It is a very basic PlayStation controller. I call it the keychain controller. As you take the top part where it says top, yep, and you plug it into the bottom, and now you have a tiny little PlayStation controller. And it has L1 and L2 and R R1 and R2. Um, I usually just like leave it unhooked and take one of the loops and just do this with it. And that's it. That's usually how I store it. Um, I kind of like how it's themed after the PlayStation 2. Uh, and I think this did come out when the PlayStation 2 was out, but you know, obviously it was much more useful on the PlayStation 1 than the PlayStation 2. Uh, it's just kind of a novelty item. Um, I've used it a few times, but nothing serious. Like usually it was like something very easy and turn-based instead of something that was reactionary like uh, Street Fighter or something like that. Then we go on to, oops, there we go. The Nameco Gun Con. Now, this is a really, really wonderful uh, thing. I, I love light gun games. This is a wonderful light gun. It's got the A button, the 
the B button and the trigger. Um, it's got a fairly long cord and it's got another part where it has to read the composite signal uh, off of a PlayStation to be able to like become a little bit more accurate. Um, I believe with HD Retrovision you plug this into the green as well. Uh, if you're going with a component cable as opposed to a composite cable. Uh, I know that there are adapters, the breakout adapters that you can plug these into as well. Um, I've got one uh, specifically for my PlayStation 2 that has a S-Video breakout so that I can hook it up to uh, what I'm going to be considering my light gun CRT. Um, now this is a really good gun, but it is usually not my go-to. This is, uh, I have this uh, because it feels really good in the hand. Um, it's very, you know, very thick. Uh, you know, I wish that it had the, the movement action and stuff. Um, there's no place to, to put a, put for a pedal or anything like that. You know, it's, it's three buttons. It's, you know, A, B, and trigger. And, um, and then of course the very, the fairly accurate, um, gun. I really like it, but it's still just not my go-to and I'm about to show you my go-to. This is my go-to. This is the Predator 2 by Logic 3. Um, it is a very, very nice gun. Now, I kind of wish that uh, that instead of it had a, had a tactile button at the end of this trigger, that it was more of a uh, micro switch for from like an arcade. But I might be able to do a modification for that. Um, you now, and it's got the same composite uh, thing. Now, what's good about this is that it's also PlayStation and Sega Saturn. Um, it has multiple functions. Um, you know, fire low, fire high, uh, normal or gun con. And then uh, it also has a vibration feature. And these, these clear areas right here will light up red. Um, it's got special and then reload, start, and another reload so that you can have reloads on either sides right here. Um, this is a very, very good gun. I think they're kind of hard to find. You can also find a pedal that plugs into the bottom of these. I only have one of the pedals. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.